Mandibular Central Incisor Before getting started with Mandibular Central Incisor, let's have quick introduction to Permanent Mandibular Incisor. These are four in number. Mandibular Central Incisor are placed centrally in the mandible with one on each side of the midline. They have their mesial surface in contact. The mandibular lateral incisor are distal to central incisor and mesial to the canine. The mandibular incisor has smaller mesial distal dimension than any of the other teeth. Mandibular central incisor Generally, the mandibular central incisor is the smallest tooth in the dental arch. Chronology the first evidence of calcification is noticed in the age of 3 to 4 months. Enamel is completed by 4 to 5 year. It erupts in the oral cavity at the age of 6 or 7. Root is completed by 9 years. The root is 12.5 mm, crown 9.5 mm. Mesodistal diameter is 5 mm and at cervix it is 3.5 mm. Labial lingual diameter is 6 mm. Curvature of cervical line distally is 2 mm and mesially 3 mm. Labial aspect that is the surface of the tooth which is towards the lip. The surface is regular which taper evenly from sharp mesial and distal incisal angle to the apical portion of the root. The incisal ridge of the crown is straight and is at approximate right angle to the long axis. Mesial and distal outline drop downward from the incisal angle to the contact area which is incisal to the junction of incisal third and middle third. The mesial and distal side of the crown taper evenly from the contact area to the cervix. The mesial and distal root outline are straight with the mesial and distal outline of the crown down to the apical portion. The apical third of the root terminate in a small pointed tapering root which is curved distally. Sometimes it is also straight. Labial surface of the crown is ordinarily smooth with flat surface at incisal third. Middle third is more convex and it narrow down to convexity of the root at the cervical portion. The labial surface of root is regular and convex. Lingual aspect that is the surface of the tooth which is towards the tongue. The lingual surface of the crown is smooth with very slight concavity at the incisal third. Marginal ridges are hardly visible. If visible then concavity of the incisal third increases. Lingual surface become flat and convex as progression is made from incisal third to the cervical third. The outline and surface of the mandibular central incisor are regular and symmetrical. Mesial aspect that is the surface of the tooth which is towards the midline. Labial outline is convex at the crest of curvature and then straight toward the incisal edge. Lingual outline is convex at crest of curvature, then concave at middle third and slightly convex at incisal edge. Cervical line curves approx one third of the length of the crown. Root outline are straight. Root diameter is uniformly through the cervical third and parts of middle third. Outline of the root begins to taper in the middle third area, tapering rapidly in the apical third to either a blunt rounded or pointed root end. Most of the tooth has broad developmental depression. The depression is usually deeper at the junction of the middle and apical third. 
Distal aspect is the surface of the tooth which is away from the midline. The distal surface of the crown and root is similar to the mesial surface. The developmental depression on the distal surface of the root is more marked with a deeper, more well defined developmental group at its center. Incisal aspect Bilateral symmetry is seen in the mesial and distal half. The incisal is, is almost perpendicular to the line bisecting labiolingually. This feature is characteristic feature of this tooth and is helpful in distinguishing it from mandibular lateral incisor. Labiolingual diameter is greater than the mesodistal diameter. Labial surface show convexity and lingual surface show concavity. That's all about mandibular central incisor. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.